People living in the village of Bahla take visitors here. They say gas flaring from oil production decimated their generations old palm trees, leaving behind nothing but trunks. When we met the village elders, they said everyone knows someone who is diagnosed with or who has died from cancer. I already have cancer and only God helps me. We continue to be worried about our families and loved ones. The Basra Health Department in southern Iraq says the pollution from oil production is making people and animals in the area sick. The Iraqi High Commission for Human Rights says due to the high rate of cancer in Basra, it's demanding the government work with oil companies to combat pollution. There is no stability for six or seven years. Every two years there is some challenge, political challenge, security challenge. Gas is long-term investment. It needs some stability and it needs some cash and commitment. The World Bank ranks Iraq number two behind Russia when it comes to gas flaring. Instead of polluting the air, the gas could be recovered and sold or used to generate electricity for millions of people. The Basra Gas Company is investing $3 billion to do just that at the Romela oil field, Iraq's largest. Anything that the Iraqi government can do um, or its neighbors can do to create an stable environment is, is good for capturing more gas and for creating a better environment for the Iraqi people. The people of Bahla say the land their families have been tied to for 200 years is toxic. And they wonder how many more of them will get sick before the government can help them. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Basra, Iraq.